Hi, I'm Josh Ozerski on eHow.com. I am here looking at a lamb rack, thinking about lamb chops. For me, there is no way I am ever going to take this object, as beautiful as it is, and serve it as a lamb rack. I don't like a lamb rack for the same reason I don't like prime rib. I like crusty brown surface. I like the Maillard reaction. I like salt and pepper and crustiness and browniness and fattiness. That's what I want, and I'm not going to get it in a lamb rack. So I'm going to take it, and I'm going to cut it into individual chops. Now, when you look at this, you may say to yourself, well, wait. This doesn't look like a lamb chops. Where is the bone? Where is the little pink ruffled stocking that a lamb chop wears when it feels dainty? The sad situation is that a lot of grocery stores and butchers and so forth, they, they take this fat here and this meat and they cut it off. They reveal the bone. That's called Frenching it. I want to make sure that I get as much of the delicious lamb fat as possible because my favorite meat is lamb fat. So, very simple. You take some olive oil, you put it in a little pan like this, you pour a lot more on than you're actually going to need. You throw in some rosemary, you throw in some garlic. I've taken the liberty of chopping up some little garlics. That goes in there too because we like to have everything be super garlicky just on general principle. In like one second, this is going to be basically more flavored with rosemary and garlic than it would be in 10 years of sitting in a pretty little jar. Now, if I wanted to, I could strain this out. And in fact, I'm going to do that because at the high heat that I'm going to cook this lamb chop at, the little garlics would turn into black, nasty little bits and the, the rosemary would be, I don't know, God knows what. So I'm going to put it in here. We put in some good olive oil like this. The important thing is that no matter how much hot oil you get splattered by or how badly you cook, the important thing is that there's always plenty of salt, that the edge of the chop always gets salted as well as both sides. You get some nice fresh rosemary on the chop itself. I am cooking these to get nice and crusty on one side. And once I do that, I'm going to flip them, and I'm going to cook them for a little bit on the other side. Now, I believe you've got to get that one side, the side that the people see, that's got to be the super crusty side. So like 70% of the crust should be on that one side. You should basically just be finishing it on the other side. OK, my lamb chops are cooking. They're nice and salted. So this turns. Look at that, perfect. This turns, unsurprisingly, perfect as well. Let's get this guy. Will it be nice? I think it is. Even more beautiful. This meat is almost done. It comes out of the pan. It goes down on the plate. One thing that I like to do whenever possible is to, is to crust up the edges, to crust up that edge fat. This one I'm saving for myself for later. And before the fire alarm starts in, I'm going to garnish these each with a little bit of this fresh chopped rosemary. Of course, it wouldn't be lamb chop time without a goodly sprinkle of salt for good measure. So those are your lamb chops. I'm Josh Ozerski. Thanks for watching. And come back again to eHow.com.